Four flights from Haiti never made it to Florida today. State leaders say they are desperately trying to evacuate Floridians because of all the violence in that region. West Street's Dave McDaniel is at Orlando Sanford International, where the first successful flight landed last night. It was hugs and smiles Wednesday when an extended family landed in Sanford, safely out of the chaos and violence in Haiti. It took a couple of tries and uh, they didn't give up. They stayed with us until the end of the mission, which I can happily say was a mission accomplished. Florida asked citizens stuck in Haiti and wanting out to register with the state online. There were challenges, which meant the first flight took days to pull off. And now whatever a uh, splinter of Haitian government still exists. Uh, somebody from the Haitian government, we believe they're valid from the Haitian government, uh, grounded our helicopters. No choppers, no evacuations. The four flights the state hoped for today, canceled. We still do not have those helicopters released as of right now. So that obviously impeded our ability to do the four flights today. The state says it's working with Congress, the State Department, the United Nations to get things going again. Our goal is to have four flights tomorrow um, and try to get about 100, 125 people out. But right now, we are all of our all of our helicopters have been grounded. Once flights do resume, Seminole County is ready to welcome the folks on board. Several assistance stations in place. Everything from the basic needs, food, water, lodging, uh, travel to their next destination. We want to connect them with their family and friends. The state has this pledge for Floridians still in Haiti and wanting to leave. Just hang tight. We will be there. We will come and make sure that you get back home. You know, that flight yesterday evening really brought a lot of excitement here to the airport. There was the reunion of that family back there, smiles and hugs all around as we showed you. Now, again, it was hoped that there would be one flight after another after another after that very first flight. But now we have, of course, this problem with the Haitian government. According to Guthrie, he says his team has been coming in at four in the morning, day after day after day, just leading up to that very first flight. He says that work will continue to get back in the air. Reporting live at Orlando Sanford International, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.